Okay, students, so I'm going to walk you through uh, part one of modeling your CO2 car in SketchUp. So the first part of this is you're looking at your sheet is getting the measurements off of that balsa wood blank. So you want to get your height on the left side, your length, height on the right side, this little short side for your side view, and you want to get the width and the length from the top view. So that's just like the normal balsa wood blank. Um, measure that out, make, make all your notations there. And then I say in step two here that we're gonna slightly modify the original shape of the balsa wood so that it is exactly a rectangle and you're gonna give me some measurements. So instead of having that slant here, we just want it to be a, just a straight up rectangle. So put in that, that measurement and the length and really those are the same as what you just measured up here but we don't have this right side. We're just gonna keep it as a rectangle and these are the same as you just measured also. So fill those in. Now, once you've got those taken down, you're ready to log in on your computer and launch, launch SketchUp 2013. So I just click on the little start button and go into all programs, my applications, and it's called SketchUp 2013. Don't go into Google SketchUp 8, that's the previous edition, go to SketchUp 2013. After you open it, we need to get some toolbars. So in the top of the screen, there's a, a menu called View, and you want to go under Toolbars. So if I flip over to Google SketchUp here, View, Toolbars, okay, we've got lots of options for different toolbars. Now I already have the one selected that I want, Large Tool Set, Solid Tools, and Views. Um, the, by default, it has this getting started toolbar that has some tools that we're going to use and some that we don't want, but it doesn't have everything. So get rid of that getting started. Go ahead and uncheck that. Okay? So you should have your views, solid tools, and then this long bar here is the large tool set. Okay? And I show those through here on, on the sheet. Okay, now step number five. We want to just draw a rectangle on the ground using the rectangle tool. Okay, so the rectangle tool is one of our drawing tools over here. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle on the ground there. Okay, doesn't matter what size we start off drawing it. Now, the top view dimensions of our rectangle shaped balsa wood block that we recorded in step two, we want to type those in. Okay? Now, if you're looking in this bottom corner box here in, in SketchUp, it says dimensions and it's currently showing me the dimensions of the rectangle that I just drew. So it's a little more than eight feet long, a little more than four feet wide. That's really big. But we want to refer back to the dimensions that we recorded up here for like our modified rectangle shape. So for the width and the length, okay? So you've got these numbers. We're gonna input those in to this box. Now, you can't click in that box in, in SketchUp. That dimension box is not clickable. What you have to do is you just type. So let's say that we, we type length first. That balsa wood blank should be close to 12 inches long. Now, if you measured something a little bit different, uh, use that, but it should be close to 12 inches long. So I'm going to type 12. See how that just changed to 12? I didn't click there. You can't click on this box. It will make it so that nothing types there. Okay? Now, I typed 12. We're going to put a comma in because we have to separate. Whoops. That didn't do it. 12, comma, um, and the width. And it's about... Uh, one and I can't remember if it's like one and five, one and five eighths. So one, whoops, twelve comma one space five slash eight. So one and five eighths. There's a space between the one and the five eighths, and we just use the slash as the uh, divided symbol. Okay, and then we hit enter. Oh sheesh. Okay, if you don't move really fast with doing this, 
um, you're going to have the same problem that I just had. So let's do this a little bit quicker. I just used my erase tool. Sometimes it's good to show things that don't work so that you know what to expect when you see a problem. So I draw my rectangle, I let go, and I'm typing my dimensions. About 12 inches long, comma, 1 space 5 slash 8 wide. Enter. Okay? You always have to hit enter. <clears throat> so again, I didn't click down here. I just started typing when I drew out my rectangle, and I hit enter when I was done. And we can see that it reshaped my, resized my rectangle much smaller than what I originally drew it. Now let's check back with what we're supposed to do. Okay, we're going to use the scroll wheel to zoom in on that rectangle. So I'm going to put your tool above it, and I'm just using the scroll wheel on the mouse to kind of zoom in here. So we can see that this is, you know, it's kind of skinny and long rectangle. It should be about the size of our, um, the bottom part of our balsa wood. Now, we're going to use this push-pull tool in SketchUp to give our rectangle height and make it 3D. So, push-pull tool right here. I'm going to pull this thing up. When you hover over the surface, it kind of highlights it with a grid of dots showing you that you're about to select that surface. I click on it and I start pulling it up. Now, I'm going to click to let go of it, but we need to immediately type in the height of the rectangle as we measured it in step two on the side view. So back up here at the top. Okay, this is step two, side view, height. We need to type in that height so that it, um, it will make it be that tall. And I think it's something close to two and three quarter inches. So two space three slash four, enter. And if you noticed, it moved it to two and three quarters. Okay, again, you don't t click in this box. Ivan Levin, please come to the main office. Ivan Levin, please come to the main office. Okay, little interruption there, no worries. Okay, but it made it two and three quarter inches tall. Now, um, next step, if you're following along in your packet, which you should be, is that in order to kind of move around in SketchUp, you're going to use the orbit and the pan tools so that we can view our model in different ways. So we've got the orbit tool right here, the pan tool right here. Orbit makes it so that you can sort of rotate around so we can look at this entire thing. Okay, so we're moving around it, whatever. We're really close to it. I'll zoom out with my scroll wheel. Pan tool just lets you move like side to side or up and down. It's like grabbing a sheet of paper and just moving it. Okay? Orbit, we're moving around. Okay, so we can see our model from whatever angle we want to. Back to our instructions. Now we're going to use this black selection arrow to select the entire rectangle that we just um, created. So I grab my selection arrow, drag a box, make sure that you're getting the entire model within the box. You don't want any part of it sticking out of that box and you can see that it highlights everything with these blue lines. Now let's right click on that rectangle and we're going to select this thing called make group. So I'm right clicking, you get this big menu, we want this thing called make group. And then if I click off of it and then click back onto it again, see how it, it selects everything all as one. Okay, if before we made it a group, it would select individual pieces. In fact, I can show that. So I, uns I, I, I did undo, which is control Z. So now, see how when I click on it, it selects individual pieces? When we highlight it, right click, make group, now you can no longer select individual pieces. It selects it as an entire object, which that's going to become helpful to us here in a minute. Now, we're going to use the dimension tool to show the overall length, width, and height of the rectangle. So there's our dimension tool. If you click on the endpoints of these lines, here I'm showing this image, the entire thing is one foot long or 12 inches. Um, if you select the endpoints, that dimension tool will be able to show us that length as well as the width and the height. 
So if I come back here, I'm going to select my dimension tool. I'm going to click. I'm going to click and kind of pull that out, and it shows me that that's one foot long. I could click here, click here, pull that out. It's one and five eighths inch wide, and click. Um, whoops. I want to click there and there. It's about two and three quarter inch tall. Okay. So that's part one, just getting that set up. Um, if you need to go back and rewatch this video, I will have it posted on Blackboard so you can follow along with those steps. Luckily, there's not too many steps. If you get totally lost or having major problems, just start back over at the beginning, okay? And uh, I'll see you back in a minute for step number two or part two of this video.